In recent years, we've all come to love SaaS services like Slack and HipChat, but I'm sure many of you would love a self-hosted equivalent with all of the apps and integrations. Well, Rocket Chat might be what you need to fulfill your dreams. When Slack and HipChat hit the market, the possibilities seemed endless. All those integrations with the beautiful interface, just seemingly easy to use features, all of those integrations complete with multi-platform mobile applications, they were perfect. But for some, the idea of all of the communications being held with a third party is just a bit too much. And cost is a serious consideration if you have a large team. These services can get very expensive really, really quickly. Let's take a look at a very solid solution to all of these problems. Rocket Chat. Rocket Chat's feature list is very impressive. It has everything you might need from an open source self-hosted alternative to Slack or HipChat. And given that I was able to install it on hyper.sh with a single command, I was really, really keen to give it a try. So let's take a look at the documentation. Well, it's very clean, it's very easy to read, and it's very well presented. The documentation isn't complete. There are some missing sections, but it is an open source project and it does rely on contributions. And they've got user guides on how to use the application, such as uploading files, direct messages, embedding media, so on and so forth, all the kind of stuff that you'll need to get going with the application from day one. And to top it off, they've got administrative guides on how to set up authentication with LDAP or having your file uploads go to S3 as opposed to the file system. Overall, the documentation should see you good, should get you on running fine, and you should be able to find in there exactly what you need. Installation was really, really easy. In fact, it took just a few minutes, including the download time of the Docker containers, Docker images. I just did one hyper sh command with a compose file, and I had a MongoDB container, and I had a Rocket Chat container up and running, and I had an IP address ready to go. There are also other ways to install Rocket Chat and they can be manual on CentOS or Ubuntu. You can do it with Docker. There are lots of service providers that come with one-click installations. It really is very, very easy, and there's probably no excuse for you to not give it a try. From a usability perspective, Rocket Chat was exactly what you'd expect from this type of application. It mimicked Slack and HipChat, not exactly, but they had a, it had a very simple and very easy to use interface with all the right parts in the relevant places on the screen. The UI was very easy to use, it was very easy to initiate a private chat, so very easy to upload a file. Using emoticons was very easy if that's your thing. Overall, the experience of using the UI, both on the desktop, in the browser, on a mobile, and using the mobile app itself on iOS was pretty nice. It was quite seamless, it was quite easy. It's a very low barrier of entry, which for me, I feel is very important. Overall, it was a very good experience from a usability perspective, and the application felt very solid and very well made. Overall, I think Rocket Chat is an amazing piece of kit. It's a well-built, solid, open source contender for anyone looking for a fully featured communication platform. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give us a like and of course, subscribe for more and have an amazing weekend.